I am calling out Black Lives Matter for the bullshit organization you are. lives matter you ought to be ashamed of yourself because you are a complete and utter fraud you are a failure because you don't give two shits about the black community and i'm going to prove to you why black lives matter you say that you are calling out the rest of the country you're calling everyone out because of systemic racism well guess what you shouldn't be throwing rocks because you live in a goddamn glass house you don't care about the black community because if you did, you would be taking care of your own. Let's go over some facts. In 2018, there were 399 white people killed by the police. In 2018, there were 209 blacks. You say, well, that's disproportionate to our racial makeup. Oh, really? Well, 40% of the people killed were white. 40%. 21% killed were black. Okay, whites make up 76% of the population. Blacks make up 12.7%. Obviously, 21% is greater than 12.7. 5.8 million violent crimes were committed by white people. 69%. Meanwhile, 2.3 million crimes were committed by black people. That's 27% of all violent crime comes from black people. Oh, 12.7% of the population. You're overrepresented when it comes to committing crimes. Let's look at murder specifically. 4,192 people that committed murder last year were white. Meanwhile, 4,935 people Black people committed murders. That's 52% of all murders were committed by black people. In fact, black people kill two white people for every one white person that kills a black person. Oh, talk about overrepresentation. According to the Bureau of Justice, 57% of officers that are threatened with a weapon, it's by a black man. 40% of the time officers encounter a firearm, it's from a black man. In fact, 34% of the time officers are injured by a perp, a black man injured him. 34% of all officer injuries are caused by violence from the black community, yet only 21% of the people that they shoot are black. Sounds like to me, the cops are being awfully freaking easy on you. Maybe let's use some common sense. You believe you're being treated unfairly by the police? Well, quit giving them a reason to police you. Now, let's talk about the real problem. 94% of all blacks that are murdered are murdered by other blacks. 75% of black men are raised in a single parent home. Let that sink in. So before you start throwing stones at what the rest of us need to do, Black Lives Matter, you need to start cleaning up your own house. You need to start taking care of the black community first rather than telling everybody else what they need to do to console you. Because the problems are starting at home. Meanwhile, one incident that kicks all this off George Floyd, y'all don't wait for the autopsy to come in before you start throwing a fit. The cops arrested before the autopsy, charged with murder. Looks like to me, everybody agrees the cop was a dirtbag and justice is going to be served. But y'all can't wait for that. Instead, you're burning down your own neighborhoods. You're burning down businesses. You're burning down your homes. You're killing people. But... We're supposed to all feel guilty because we're white. Meanwhile, Black Lives Matter, the dirtbag organization that they are, is calling for cuts to police funding. And anybody knows anything about the police know that the first thing that gets cut when they don't have money coming in is training. And we all know the cops ain't trained well enough to handle this. 
Less trained cops are going to go to guns faster than well-trained cops. So you want to compound your own problem. Well, guess what? Black Lives Matter and all your protests and all your bullshit, you are being used. You are being used by the Antifa types. You are being used by the anti-American types. They're hijacking your movement because you're too damn dumb to police yourself. You're closing people's minds, you're closing people's hearts with the violence, the looting, and the destruction. You're being used to divide America. Instead, we ought to all be coming together at times like this. You all keep voting for Democrats. They keep promising they're going to take the chains off, but they never do. If you guys want to rebel against something, rebel against government overreach. Why don't you guys unite? Unite behind the Constitution. The message that all men are created equal, endowed by their creator. No one guarantees you equal outcome. But we do guarantee equal opportunity. MLK. MLK wouldn't have stood for this. You shouldn't either. Quit being a pawn in other people's game. You're falling right into their trap. Socialism doesn't work. Freedom is always the answer.